guest tonight is easily the greatest UK-based French stand-up comedian around. He's set to perform this Friday at Sydney's Comedy Store, and his show Wine List is at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival from April 10th. Would you please welcome Marcel Lucon? <laughs> Wow. That's some post-Easter applause right there. <laughs> Easter, of course, wants a festival of new life. How do most Australians celebrate Easter? Drinking themselves unconscious <laughs> and force-feeding confectionery into the face of an already fat child. <laughs> How are you celebrating new life this year? Oh, early death. There you go. <laughs> Have some more sugar in your already obese face. There you go. Just do that. Teaching children to accept gifts from enormous mammals. <laughs> Symbolism of the rabbit at Easter? Sex. Easter should be a sex festival. <laughs> We can still involve the rabbits and the eggs, just not the kind that we tell children about. <laughs> the more kinky bastards, they can keep the crucifixion element if they wish, that's up to them. But... Once again, religion getting in the way of a perfectly legitimate celebration. I cannot trust the Bible. It's too vague, you know. Oh, Jesus turned the water to wine. We are never told what grape, <laughs> what vintage. You know? The omission of facts like this could render such a book almost unbelievable. <laughs> I've been uh, touring your country. I've been, uh, I've been touring your country. I started in Perth, the wild west of Australia. <laughs> and you know it is wild, huh? Soon as you arrive, it tells to you on the sign. It says, welcome to Perth. Wah! <laughs> okay. You know what you are getting, huh? It's the same with other cities, similar policy, you know. Adelaide, it's quite laid back, you know. Oh, welcome to Adelaide. Sha. <laughs> Don't really give a shit. You know. Darwin, quite feral. You know. So welcome to Darwin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, teeth. Melbourne seem to be welcoming only one person of the name Vic. <laughs> I knew it was cliquey, but wow, that's too much. <laughs> Your entire Australian news seems to be dominated by a cricketer rubbing a ball on his dick. It's bizarre. You know? I, I don't understand we're still watching sport now that Eric Cantona is not in sport. It's boring, you know. That's a man who knew to fuck about with sport and do it well. Brought things to the game we did not know it could be in the game. Huh? Poetry, humor, kung fu. Did not know that was... Well, it was not allowed, but it took him to, you know, show us that was the truth. Huh? Now Cantona has moved on to better things than sport. Now Cantona is making films that will be shown in Cannes. Most of your footballers, they're making films that will be shown in court. <laughs> Dirty bastards. Before Australia, I am uh, making the tour of the United Kingdom. Hmm. To be in that country with a bank account full of euros, what a time to be alive. <laughs> For me, every hour was happy hour. <laughs> okay, to explain to the less knowledgeable, um, how to explain. 
in your country, you made the yes, no vote on whether persons who fuck in the ass should be married. <laughs> Britain, they made a yes, no vote whether to fuck themselves in the ass. <laughs> And they voted yes. It's a surprise to us, a surprise to them even. Oh, did we vote yes? Why? But truly, who is happy with their politicians? Eh? Myself, I think I will run for presidency of France next time. Why not? Hmm? One policy only, I plan to start a global referendum to get planet Earth to leave the solar system. <laughs> I think we are starting to be an embarrassment to the lumps of dust and rock that are floating around out there. You know. Time to go. How will you achieve this, Marcel? I don't know. <laughs> there was no strategy for the Brexit. Why the fuck should I have a plan? <laughs> Vote for that shit, sort it out later. It's probably just a bit of admin. <laughs> well, you can only have so much of a good thing. I have been Marcel Lucan. You have been you. Marcel Lucan, everyone. Thank you. Oh, oh my. Give it up.